Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to install Corona Render and how to download and use the offline material and NVIDIA GPU AI installers. We're going to start by downloading the latest version of Corona from the official Corona website. Click the Download Corona button on the main menu. Then, download the latest version of Corona. If you're installing Corona in more than one computer, I recommend downloading the offline material library and NVIDIA AI denoiser files. This way, you only need to download the files once and not every time that you are installing Corona. After the download has finished, we need to move the offline installer files to the same folder as the main Corona installer. I'm going to leave the download links in the description. We're going to run the installer. On the Welcome installation screen, the first checkbox is to accept the terms and conditions. You must check this to continue. The second checkbox is to send product users data to Corona. This option is up to you. I don't really like to share my users data with applications, so I usually keep it unchecked. After you finish your selection, click the next button. In the install type screen, we have three options. The first one is the typical installation or update previous installation if you already have Corona installed. This option has no additional settings to select. Corona is going to automatically select and install the typical components, but I don't really recommend using this option, especially if you're updating Corona. The installer remembers the previously selected options. This means that if you have a new 3ds Max version, Corona is not going to install it in that version. In this case, you need to use any of the other two options. The second option, and the one that I use most of the time, is custom. If selected, we're going to have access to all the Corona installer options. In the first section, we can select the 3ds Max version if we have multiple 3ds Max versions installed on our system. I recommend keeping the NVIDIA AI denoiser and the material library check. VR server installed the distributed rendering server. You can disable it if you don't have multiple computers or you're not planning to use it. License server allows you to assign licenses to multiple computers without manually activating each one. This is really useful and the way to go if you have all these computers connected on the same network. The standalone is mainly recommended for developers as it doesn't really have a graphic interface. So we can uncheck this. Image editor needs to be checked in as we will be using this application really often. Once you have finished with your selections, click the install button. The third option is mainly used for deployments on multiple computers. It allows to unpack all the Corona files. If you have previously unpacked files, you will have three different options. Continue to override the unpacked file, delete, which is the option we're going to use, and it removes the previously unpacked files, and the last one, cancel, to stop the installation. Once the installation has been completed, press the finish button. After we have unpacked the files, we need to copy them to our 3ds Max and Corona installation folders. Go to your Unpack folder, open the Autodesk folder, then select the 3ds Max version you have installed on your computer and open that folder. We need to copy the plugins, script, and UI folders to Program Files, Autodesk, and then select the same 3ds Max version folder you selected previously. After this, select Override if you previously installed Corona. We also need to copy the files inside of the Unpack Corona folder. Select the Corona Renderer for 3ds Max folder, then select your 3ds Max version and copy the selected folder to the Program Files Corona Corona Render for 3ds Max folder. Then, we need to select the folders of the additional components we want to install. Remember to always install Image Editor. The other components can be skipped if you don't need them. To finalize the installation process, Go back to the Unpack Corona folder and copy the IES, LUT, Materials, and Optics folder to the Program Files Corona folder. The copy process can be done manually, as we have done it, or we can also use a batch file to copy all the files to multiple computers at the same time, which is the option that I recommend if you're dealing with multiple computers or a render farm. All the options that we have mentioned will install similar components. Typical is a hands-free option. Just click Install and it's ready. Custom allows us to select the components we want to install. 
and Unpack is the advanced option mainly used for mass deployment. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.